Hi guys, it's September 18th, yeah, it's 4.52 uh, p.m. It's still about the same as uh, earlier today, partly cloudy, partly sunny out. And we're just at the east end of downtown Calgary. <laughs> Looking over that way is the old Inglewood area, which I mean a real trendy area now. You're just going to cross the bridge into Fort Calgary, where Calgary all started. And over to the left is uh, Saddle Dome. That's where the Calgary Flames been playing there since uh, 1982, and this is the Alba River. This is the Bow River. So this is where Calgary all began there in the 1870s. They set up a fort just over there because of the two rivers meeting like this. So you can see the elbow. And the zoo is just over there. Might be able to zoom in a little bit. And now we're coming into uh, downtown Calgary. I'll save that for another video someday. But I just thought to show you the uh, beginnings of Calgary here back in the 1870s. I believe it was 1875 when, uh, when they set up a fort here because of the two rivers meeting here. And, and then it just kind of grew from there and now it's a city of 1.3 million people. And they got an excellent pathway system down here. For bikes and rollerbladers. Looking back over there again by the zoo. kind of turning the camera to the right when people are coming back the other way there don't want to get their pictures in case they complain so I just uh, pan over this way and then that way when they go then I can pan over this way and there oh yeah there's the Calgary Tower in the distance you can see the famous Calgary Tower it used to be the Husky Tower when it was built in 67 popular walking and biking trails down here. Not too sure what this is. This looks like it's all new since I was last down here uh, last time. Well, it's kind of like translucent so they might light up at night there. Which would be kind of cool in the red. Place you can sit and watch the river, kayakers going by. And we're looking straight west into downtown Calgary now. Lots of tall buildings here like Toronto and Vancouver have. And then the old uh, fort there, a replica of the old fort that was built in the 1870s. And it being all ripped out back in the 50s I think uh, and then they uh, end up using it as a storage yard, junkyard and, and it was just a really run down area there and then the 70s there they decided to uh, 
resurrect it there and bring it back to uh, its original glory. There's more of these boxes here. Lot of these uh, electric e-bikes that people rent and ride around in uh, anywhere in the city. It's a windy day out there, so probably going to be annoying on the uh, mic of the camera. I don't know how I can rectify that, but. It would be a very windy day but woke up this morning it was already uh, 70 de 17 degrees in the morning there at uh, 8 o'clock and yesterday I woke up it was one degree out so big difference there and they said the westerly winds have, have uh, put the temperature way up today so it's even warmer it is in July on overnight temperatures <laughs> oh, we've got a wedding going on over there Looking back at Fort Calgary again. Got the Canadian flag flying half mast. I've ridden my bike down here many a times too, uh, from one end of the city to the other. Well, not from southwest to uh, northwest, but uh, from uh, one end of downtown to the other, as far as Edbury Park or even Bowness Park. Here come some of those rental bikes. Calgary Tower again. So you got 16 minutes left on this uh, memory card, so try and fill it up. Got these street lights over on that, the other side of the river there, and then they got, uh, let's see, I'll go over here. Zoom in on them there. Yeah, kind of a unique uh, the way they got the street lights set up there. Yeah, they got one side for bikes and the other side there for uh, pedestrians. I'm going to walk across that bridge over there and show you a little bit of the other side there but there's a memory card runs out. Place you can lock your bikes up to. Looks like a little place.
playground or sitting area over there. Yeah, so anyways, uh, we're doing the river walk as the sign says, so uh, this is the uh, famous Bow River. It starts up in the mountains there near the Alberta BC border and then it just uh, some of it goes west and some of it goes east so the majority of it comes to east I believe and, and heads into the Hudson Bay eventually in Manitoba. In the summertime there are July and August it's just hundreds of rafts and kayakers and uh, anything else that floats go down here. Looking west. See all the bridges that go from the north side of the river to the south side of the river, but just over there, I can't see it from here, is the Center Street Bridge, and, and the city is divided in four quadrants, northwest, southwest, southeast, and nor northeast. And downtown got a pretty simple grid system down there. Start of all east and west streets are avenues, and our south streets are uh, streets. So they start off down on First Avenue and work their way out, and, and then they go and then they have like First Street Northwest and First Avenue, which would be in the center of the city. And this works the way up, but in the newer areas, they decide to use all. Name Street, so it's a little more, more confusing there once you get into the newer parts of the downs that were built probably after the 50s there. But they, if they had a, you know, a district like uh, Morgan, then all the uh, names streets there were started with uh, GL or, you know, Glamorgan Drive or uh, Gladmer Drive. Or, so kind of easy to figure out there. It's, cities that started with B. Same with Queensland. Uh, all this name streets there start with Q. And there's our our T over there. Heading out to the northeast. And that's the bridge line area over there. <laughs> Show you some of the mature trees that are around here. Yeah, it's very busy down here because a lot of people go for walks because a lot of people live downtown in the apartments or in the nearby uh, residential areas, so they just come down here and do their walks. This is all built the last few years down here. They put this little uh, wading pool in here right off the Bow River. Instead of picnic cable, we'll have a, a picnic lunch there. And you go way over there. I've got 90 minutes left on this uh, card, so here comes the plane into the airport. Uh, 
Okay, so we'll just walk over here towards the southwest again. And if you're in trouble and need the police there, you just uh, got the help box there. Never had to use one, but just not just sure how they work, but have a look at it there. Oh yeah, a button there, you just push the emergency button and, and I guess it calls the police and they get down here as soon as they can and see what your problem is. And there's those street, crazy street lights again. And the bridge that just came over. Yeah, it's been getting dark early these nights now because it's uh, halfway to winter. So, uh, yeah, so we've been losing about two and a half hours of daylight so far. Um, so it gets dark about 8 now instead of 10 30 like it did in June. Oh, yeah, there's the street lights. Okay, I think I'll end this video and uh, seeing it just about out of time, anyways, there. So, I'd rather say. You know, just don't want it to cut out when I'm talking, so I'll just end it now. And we'll do another video another day when I'm in downtown and do the right there in the downtown core area. Bye for now.